Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Chicago White Sox and the Kansas City Royals. Hello again everybody baseball is back welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs but if they can pitch like they can I think this team is going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now opening day on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Mark what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win. Well Matty if I could tell this lineup one thing it would be let's get on this guy early day game in this ballpark the sun starts glaring starts getting later in the day those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Got to find a way to scratch a few across early. Danny Duffy gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He will lead this one off today. And it's 0-2 to Avisayo Garcia. Wow what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds right you're geared up for the fastball and all of a sudden he pulls the string and throws you the straight change the dreaded equalizer. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Avisail Garcia goes down for the first out of the game oh, and he's really getting the better of him now it's strike two and there are the umpires assigned to this one calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, D. Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike stays alive still 0 and 2 just underway here in Kansas City yeah, just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order three up three down a chance now from the K to have a look at the starting nine for these Royals. d what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be wind day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, Leading just get two or three. All the pressure's yeah, on the big better. boy to have to Andrew, execute, and he usually Hudson. does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture, one or two runs early in this one. Ball two. two. No. McCutcheon or just Kutch as he's frequently referred to. This is the final year of his current deal so he'll be a free agent at season's end. You know Matty I know he's in the final year of his contract but he's playing to expectations to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit though. As he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Here it comes the 3 0. Bullet back up the middle. Garcia is right there, one down. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation.
Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Previously against Carlos Radon, he's gone three for eight. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Drill to the right side. Mokata gloves it. Throw on to first, and Gordon is retired here for the second out. Batting third, third baseman, George Brett. Now batting, George Brett looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch of the at bat. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's a hit, their first of the new season. Legs churning, he's headed for second. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. Brett takes the turn at third, he wants it all. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the parker. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. As he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Garcia coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to push him out in front. Second inning upcoming here. So coming to the plate, Matt Davidson. Career numbers against Danny Duffy, batting at an even 400. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. One away. This guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Up next for Chicago, Wellington Castillo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, it's 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. The 0-2 delivery. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. And Gordon will make the catch to retire the side. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Previously against Carlos Radon, he's four for 14. He also has one home run. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Delmonico going back on it. See you later, over the wall, a home run. A solo home run by Alcides Escobar. First home run of the campaign for it as the Royals move out in front now two to nothing. Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run, there's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home run. And that will bring up Jorge Bonifacio. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out.
And he fouls this one off. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south, pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. In now is Lorenzo Kane, previously against Carlos Radon. He's got Lorenzo six for ten. Kane. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. In his career, Kane is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Hit to short. Anderson scoops it up. In time to first, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Whit Merrifield. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First offering on its way. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Throw into second. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And it would have been trouble, but a great job there to pull. And welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from Kansas City as we get a nice shot of downtown there. Owen won the count. Career. And he goes the other way with it, high and deep down the left field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Here comes another 0-2. Grounded up the first baseline. And the White Sox have their first hit of the game. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Oh, one on its way. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. Owen oh, two hit back up the middle. The second for one over to Hosmer, and it's a double play. He set and the pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires. Standing in, Alex Gordon. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And the throw gets him as he takes away a hit that time. Just a really solid play up the middle as we get another look with show track. Had to go over 20 feet to get to it, and then he uncorked a strong and accurate throw to beat the runner. These guys make it look easy, but that very easily could have been a base hit. Standing in now, George Brett. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Here it comes. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Oh man, 
He just tied him up in knots right there. One out, nobody on. And he looks at a ball, one and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw gets him, two down. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. At the plate, Eric Cosmer, 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rip down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. When you know a guy has a great changeup on the mound, you got to be willing to give up pull side of the plate from time to time. It just looked like his timing was a smidge off. Throw in time, and the side is retired. KC down in order, but they're on top by a count of. Ready now for the White Sox. Avisail Garcia looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yohan Moncada. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0-2 now. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and two. Finally, a take. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the first pitch they've taken the entire game. So he sets him down swinging. Johan Moncada goes down for out number two in the top half. No balls and a strike to count. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that. So stepping in, I'll see this Escobar. Yeah, Matt, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Garcia going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. Escobar takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And he's safe at the plate. And they lead now by four. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, not the prettiest of swings, d -roll. That looked a little bit oh, from the Vladimir Guerrero book, right but nonetheless, he got oh, the job done. Yeah, a little choking oh right there. He flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass. Not pretty, but he'll take it. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio. He swings and grounds it to short. There's one on to first to complete the double play. Into the box now, Lorenzo Cain. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit on the ground out to short. Anderson brings it in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Matt Davidson. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Stepping in, Wellington Castillo. He rolls a strikeout victim in his first try. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2. 
to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Hard ground ball to third. On to first, and there were two down. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Whit Merrifield one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Trying to work that slider to the outer half but it misses one and oh. High in the air out to center field. Garcia patrolling center makes the play one out. Up next for the Royals. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on its way. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. McCutcheon moves well on his way to second now. And he is in at second base with a one out double. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. Ready once again, Alex Gordon. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. How about that for making something happen? First he rips a double, then on the very next pitch he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The set and the 1-0 pitch. A bullet to first base, and the runner gets back, no double play. Boy, every pitcher needs a little bit of help. How about this? This infielder makes a terrific catch on this line drive. Probably saving a run from scoring. First delivery to him on the way. Now he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And some stirring now in the White Sox bullpen as it looks like a right hander's up and throwing. Goodness. 0 oh, and 2 now. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. The 0 oh, 2 delivery. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Delmonico waits on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico. We'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball one and two. Still one and two. Hit sharply on the ground. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Hey, that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling now. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Garcia. Five foot eight inch right handed swinger and thrower. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a strike. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 2. 
Some guys have. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. He's 0 for 2 Royal. thus far in this one. First Here comes the Eric first pitch. Hosmer. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Delmonico is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. The shortstop, number two, Alcides Escobar. Alcides Escobar will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. One ball, no strikes to count. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way going. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this. So now the White Sox manager will slowly make his way toward the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. Jim Shields enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Before the pitch, a move by Shields. And the runner will get back standing. First pitch coming. Here it is. Way out in front. This is a tough spot here to turn two off this guy at the plate. One of the things you really have to make sure defensively to make sure you get at least one out. Don't try to turn that double play. If you get the sure out at second, take that. And if you get it at first, well, that's just an added bonus. But make sure you at least get one out in a spot like this. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Delmonico waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batter, right fielder, Jorge Bonifacio. At the plate, Jorge Bonifacio. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. Shields pauses. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. One one. Missed with a breaking ball. Escobar is off of first with two away. And there he goes towards second. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Garcia facing back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Royals leave one. They lead it four to nothing. So here is Abisayo Garcia. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. This is the bugaboo on the offensive side. You want to stay in there and work a guy's count and hopefully get into the bullpen. But when you find yourself 0-1 every time, hitting becomes even more difficult. Again, another foul ball. Here's another 0-2. Got Three. him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. 
settling in now. Jose Abreu is hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Fastball called for strike two. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder, or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt? Ready with another 0-2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. In now is Lorenzo Cain. Lifetime numbers with James Shields. He's only one for ten. Lorenzo Cain. First delivery to him on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. It'll be interesting to see if the pitcher goes back to that. I don't know if the hitter was trying to work the ball the other way, but whatever it was, it just did not look good. This one's down to third. And there's one away. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. First offering on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. Davidson loves it. And a long throw across the diamond gets him. That's a nice play. So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go. Andrew McCutcheon has got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Garcia looks up and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Royals have opened this up now to 5 nothing. These guys are really putting on a show here. That dinger brings the total up to five for the game so far. Amazing stuff today, guys. Yeah, Matty V, how about this, D-Row? If you come to watch offense, you pick the right game to come and see. Five bombs from one team. Everybody in the lineup. They're making fun right now of the guys who don't have a homer in this one. Shield sets his sights. 0-1 on its way. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielder. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Royals tack. Now at the plate, Matt Davidson. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Popped him up. Merrifield is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now to the play, Tim Anderson. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Two out, nobody on. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Bonifacio is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. Ready now, George Brett. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Very weakly on the ground, but it's foul strike one. Grounded to the right. Diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. 
So having collected hits number one and two of his career, he's got to be happy with his performance so far in his debut. Oh, he's ecstatic, Matty. The thing you want to prove to yourself is that you belong at the big league level, and that's exactly what he did today. Putting two quality ABs out there for Knox. He'll get in a car today with a nice smile on his face. First baseman Eric Cosmer is in as he rips it on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Lifetime numbers with James Shields. He's had success, six for 14. Here comes the first pitch. Now both runners on the move. Pitch outside, the throw. Brett on third. Hosmer is at second with nobody out. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And the runner from second is in to score. It's 7-0. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he'll get in there safely. Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at-bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And they'll only be able to get the out at first here as the run is in to score from third. Into the box now, Jorge Bonifacio. He flew out in his last at-bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. And they did damage. Oh, in now is Lorenzo Kane. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. One pitch on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. The one two turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. The one two hit down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Three runs already home here. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Shields pauses. Here's the first pitch. This is in the air out to right. On the move is Garcia. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Next up is the sneaky pop of Nicky Delmonico starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. 
boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue. Tyler Saladino is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Delmonico at second. Garcia at first with no outs. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Gordon going back, and it's gone. Here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. Your attention so a strong performance here as he worked his way into the ninth, but he'll let the bullpen try and close with the final two outs. Smith has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boyd, every manager and pitching coach, Matty D, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He makes the catch, and the Royals move to 1-0 on the young season as this ball game is over. 8-3 is today's final. Kansas City blasted five home runs en route to victory.